blow my friends. If you want to know why I have aluminium foil, it's because I'm going to scrunch it up and make it nice again. Well, you'll see. I'm just going to scrunch this up. As you can see, I think I might have scrunched it up too much. Yeah, I probably did. But you can see that it's now in a very wrinkled up state. <laughs> We're going to flatten it. What? So, that's what the pencil's for. And you see... Well, I'm not doing a good job, but... You can see, this is what the flattened piece... The piece that got flattened with the pencil, compared to the original piece. As you can see, the original piece is more bumpy than this one. This one still has the ridges and whatever, but it's more flat. Anyway, I'll try again with this piece, and I'm probably going to fail again. Oh no, I'm doing much better this time. As you can see, it has a weird look to it. It won't ever look like new al aluminum foil, but if you accidentally crinkle aluminum foil, you can just flatten it with a pencil. In fact, I'm going to rip this up into two. As you can see, that's the good piece of aluminum foil. I'm not going to waste that. This is the messed up one. I mean, so, if the aluminium foil is not wrinkled badly, like the previous one, and you want to flatten it, you can. It will... It just... It just looks... Well, I can't describe it, really. Let's say you put the aluminium foil between, well, covering food or something, and it gets squashed for some reason. Not as bad as the first one, but it's moderately squashed, not severely squashed like the first one, again. We can flatten it. You can see, almost as good as new. Thanks for watching. I hope I see you again.